Hey everybody, welcome back to The History Freak. Today we're doing our first ranking video. This is where we rank the 13 amazing women who feature in our Tudor Queen series in a variety of categories. If you have any ideas on things you would like to see the Queens ranked as, then let me know in the comments. Before we start, why not subscribe to this channel to make sure you can see all the Tudor Queen series, as well as other ranking videos and future fun content we have planned. Today's subject is lived from shortest to longest. It does need to be mentioned that some of these women's date of birth or even year is not known for sure, so I have gone with the believed maximum age at the time of death. It can be tricky because information is sometimes not very consistent, but this is meant to be a bit of fun and nothing too serious. So, on with the rankings. In 13th place is Lady Jane Grey. The famous nine-day queen is believed to have been just 17 when she died. She was decapitated on order of another Tudor queen, Mary I. She is one of four Tudor queens to die in this unfortunate way, and one of three to be executed in the Tower of London. In 12th place is Catherine Howard. Henry's fifth wife, she is believed to have been maximum about 19 years old at the time of death although it's possible she was younger. She was executed in the Tower of London on the order of the King after he found out she had been having an affair. Legend says she spent the night before her death practicing how to lay her head on the block. In 11th place is Jane Seymour. She is thought to have been about 29 years of age at the time of her death. Jane, Henry's third wife, did what none of his other wives could and gave him a son. It came at a terrible cost though, as Jane died about 12 days after the birth. Henry died about 10 years later and he was buried next to Jane. In 10th, Anne Boleyn. Henry's second wife and mother to Elizabeth I, she is the third to die from decapitation in the tower. It's thought Anne was maximum age about 35 at the time of her death. After years of fighting to become queen, things didn't go too well for her once it happened. She was accused of adultery, incest, and some even called her a witch. In ninth place is Catherine Parr. The sixth wife who survived past Henry's death was 36 when she died. Catherine had a lot to live for as a wealthy former queen. She remarried but sadly died about six days after the birth of her only child. In eighth place is Elizabeth of York. The first to be featured in the Tudor Queen series Elizabeth's marriage helped to bring peace to England after the War of the Roses. She actually died on her birthday, making her exactly 37 years old. In seventh place is Mary Tudor. Henry VIII's younger sister and daughter of Elizabeth of York died at the age of 37 and about three months. She had suffered with a number of illnesses in her life, including the dreaded sweating sickness. In sixth place is Anne of Cleves. Henry's fourth wife was also a survivor of her former husband. After their marriage ended, she lived the rest of her life as a wealthy private woman. It's believed she was just under 42 years of age at the time of her death. In fifth place is Mary I. Daughter of Catherine of Aragon, Mary triumphantly took the throne after the death 
of Edward VI and the brief reign of Queen Jane. The people were happy with the new queen, but that good feeling didn't last and her reign is remembered very unfavourably in history. She died possibly of cancer aged 42. In fourth is Mary Queen of Scots. Mary was the granddaughter of Margaret Tudor. She is the last of the Tudor queens to die by execution on orders of Elizabeth I. After a turbulent life, Mary died aged 44. In third is Catherine of Aragon. Henry's first wife and mother of Mary I, Catherine was 50 at the time of her death. Catherine's is a sad story. As queen, she was unable to give Henry a healthy son. She was removed in favour of Anne Boleyn. After her death, there were rumours she had been poisoned. In second is Margaret Tudor. Henry VIII's older sister lived until the age of 51, but she sadly died possibly after having a stroke. Her son James tragically didn't make it to her deathbed before her passing. So in first place, the longest living Tudor queen is Elizabeth I. She lived until the age of 69. She lived about double the length of her mother, Anne Boleyn, and about 14 years longer than her father, Henry VIII. At the time, it was quite remarkable to live so long, even for a queen. With age and the death of her friends, Elizabeth became depressed. She, the last Tudor queen, died in March 1603. Well, that's the end of the first ranking video. I hope you enjoyed it. The purpose of the Tudor Queen series is to really celebrate the lives of these amazing women who were remembered and loved so many years later. Join me in the next ranking video when we will rank the queens by number of marriages.